Don't burn, don't brown, and have good energy. Don't burn, don't brown, and have good energy. Got it? Action! Right? Yeah. Here on the island on local transport. Um, these veggie patties smell amazing. Oh my god, they're so good. Okay, see ya. Dolmavas, Dolmava, Dolmava. You know, I actually look European and these are, these are Dolmavas. Oh my God, I can't say it, I'm so sorry. But there is a way to say it, Dolmava, Dolmavas, Dolmavis, I don't know. Anyway, I love them. And I've been wanting to make them my entire life. Seriously, when I first moved to Australia from New Guinea, I was living, I actually was working in West End in Brisbane and I come across this amazing Greek family that made domathas. I think that's how you say it, please I apologize. Um, and I remember eating them thinking it was the greatest thing in the whole world. And I had never made them, ever. Like 10 years later, 20 years, I've never made them. And the other day, me and my friend last me decided to make them because I bought these in a deli and I was like, oh, I wonder how, how this would go down. And they're amazing. So this is like a, a little treat for myself and for you at home because I was really scared to make these for so many years. And I don't know why, I just thought they were really technical. But now it's like, I can't imagine buying them. They're so beautiful and they keep as well. So I'm gonna take you through the entire process of how to do this. First of all, you're gonna to have to get yourself some vine leaves. These vine leaves are around about 375 grams all up. And they've been, well, it says here they've been pickled with oil and lemon juice. So they're very quite tangy. So what I did when I opened these, I tasted them straight away. It's really important. Now, some people out there, you might get them in a tin. I don't know what that's like. I got them in a packet, but I did taste them and they were really gross actually. And so I decided to wash them. So when I open them up, and this is what you wanna do at home, even if they're in the tin, really important to taste them first so you can get an idea of what you're dealing with. It's kind of my philosophy with food, right? Is tasting the beginning and the middle and the end. So when you open something up, the first thing we do as chefs is we smell it. And we identify, Oh, it's hitting my taste buds already. I'm starting to salivate, which is really great for your actual, um, your gut brain, because you're using all your senses, right? Oh my goodness, they smell so beautiful and so really tangy and sour. So the first thing I did was grab a little bit of the leaf after I smelt it and I tasted it. Oh, and it's like really in the bin, it's really intense. So washing them is really important. Yeah, and you just, be rough, because I was like really gentle in the beginning. I was like, I don't need to be gentle. These aren't, these are actually really quite sturdy. And then just pull them all apart and wash them. Now I did this about, when I do this? Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's Monday today. Oh, they smell great, they're still okay. I mean, look at some of the size of these. Look at that size, right? And then look at this size really really kind of like sturdy look at that so there's different sizes in a packet really really sturdy all right okay next you're going to soak your rice for about an hour and i'm using a long grain rice strain it and wash it okay the first time I made this, I used one cup of rice and I had all these vine leaves left over. So this time I'm using two cups of rice. All right, set that aside. Okay, so this is the rest of the ingredients. Got some tomato paste, got some dill, got some mint, got some fresh parsley, and I've got some spring onions, got some normal brown onions, and I've got a whole bunch of lemons, 
Then I have some garlic powder and some oregano. And lastly, some olive oil. And this is kind of the recipe. I'm gonna use a, oh, is it a small pot, a medium pot? I don't know. But a pot around about this big. So what we're gonna do is um, line the pot first. Nice thick slices. So you notice I've got the skin on, it's okay. Now this could be potato, okay, so don't panic. I've got vine leaves, which I'm gonna put. I am gonna use this big pot actually, this five liter pot. I'm gonna put the vine leaves on the bottom of the pot, just to cover. I've only got like about three of them. Put the broken ones there, like whatever, whatever you have left over, just cover it like that. And then I'm gonna lie the onion around the vine leaves. And this, like I said, this could be potato. This could be lemon and potato. Okay, done. Next, we're gonna get all our veggies cut up. Oh my God, I think we're all just having a moment here. <laughs> Kong's crying. <laughs> Onions done. Okay, so I need to juice some lemon juice. Okay, it's around about half a cup of lemon juice. All right, let's get over to a pot and start sauteing. Um, I am gonna use the five liter pot to um, put the tomatoes in to cook, but I am gonna cook in a smaller pot um, with the rice and the onions and all the things. Okay, so let's go. Now this was on medium to low heat the whole time, okay? This is the time to taste it. I know the rice is raw. This is a five, like six, seven minute cook all up, right? You run your spoon through like this, right? Nothing's sticking, nothing's burning. The things like there's no, none of that going on here, right? Then you get your spoon and this is what I do. Make sure it's a little bit cooler. Cause chefs, we got like this asbestos fingers, right? We can't feel anything. I just do this, the taste, I'm trying to get the taste to see if there's enough seasoning. Mm. that just needs a little bit more salt. So I'm not eating the rice, I'm just kind of tasting the, the gravy that's wrapped around the rice. Still on low heat. So I just need a little bit more salt, right, in there. And then I know it's right. Now I'm gonna turn off the heat and add the rest of the ingredients. I'm gonna add a, ta it looks like a lot of herbs, right? And it is, we want flavor, and this is where the flavor's coming from. Now remember, this is off, it's turned off. I'm gonna add around about a tablespoon of lemon juice to this mix. Give it a really good stir. And then we're ready to rock and roll, ready to wrap. I actually need a little bit more salt in there. Now remember, you're not tasting I mean, sorry, you're not eating the rice, you're tasting the flavor. And like I said, the spoon, putting your finger over some of that yumminess. Oh my God, that's so good. Okay, here we go. Remember those leaves that have been kind of just soaking in water? 
Now I'm going to drain them. All right. Hey, lost me. Do you want to help me? Yes. Thanks, mate. So I'll use these leftover ones from the other day, which are still fine. They're fine vine. Fine vine, they are. Now you're going to layer them and you can see Actually, have a look at this. This is kind of like the shiny side, right? Lost me, this is the shiny side that goes down okay. and then the rough side goes up. Some of these are like broken and cracked and, and I was like, how are they gonna hold? Like, do I have to sticky them, sticky them together? <laughs> but they hold, look at this one. This one's just totally broken, right? Look at that, which is fine. So something like that, I would put into this pot as its foundation and light it on today. And remember that can be potato and slices of lemon. It doesn't have to just be onion, but I couldn't be bothered going down to the shop. So you know how it is. Okay, last me's on a roll. <laughs> nice and tight, okay? Just watch really carefully how we do this. Good energy too. Now the idea is to somehow keep them the same size. And this is what I do. Now watch, watch how I'm pulling that back nice and tight. I'm gonna pop that there. Hey, let me look at my trick here. I put this there and then I make the same size. Ah, okay. I don't know how I knew that, but I, I created that just then. Maybe it is a thing. Now what happens if there's so much of it? I found that to be really rubbery the other day when I was eating it and I loved it. I love the texture of it, but it's up to you. You can cut that off if you want to. But um, I don't think the amazing Greek, Lebanese, Italian women do cut that off. Nice and tight, yeah? So if I needed more, I would take a bit of that leaf and I'd put it here. So as you can see, that just acts like a bit of a handle for me to hold on to. Hold it over. Now you can see that this is breaking here. So I'm just gonna move that leaf across, roll it over it, making sure everything's nice and tight like a present. Now we want to line them. So, so notice how this is like this. You want this to be on the bottom. And as you go around, you just want to make sure that end bit is on the bottom and nice and snug and tight. Just enough water. I've got about a liter of water and I'm adding some more because I want it to cover those vine leaves. So one liter of water, you're then checking it and then you're adding a little bit more water to cover those vine leaves and just gonna gently push them down like that. And we add a little bit more salt and, water, salt and pepper just to season that beautiful lemon olive oil water up. It's really great having salt and pepper on tap like this. That's just gonna season that up. Now, my girlfriend said to me, you gotta put a plate over the top. So, I need a plate that's not gonna break in the heat. This is a good one. Is it too small? Oh no, it sits perfectly. Look at that. I'm just gonna do it like this. Someone can tell me that I'm doing it wrong or doing it right. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's just all have good energy. I am gonna cook it with the lid half off like this because I want to get the heat up. So 30 minutes, boil the shit out of it, turn it down to a low, lid on, cook it for like an hour. I cooked these on Friday. I have some in the container that I'm going to bring out in about an hour just to see what they're like. And I want to know how long these last in the fridge for. Fridge for. So that's another thing that I'm experimenting with. It's all an experiment really. 
All right, I've done this wrong, which is good to know. I think Lasmi said small, the plate was too small. The bowl, well, I think that's a saucer, right? Just be careful, this is really hot. This is really cool. I'm learning so much about doing this. And I don't like to Google, by the way. I'm not a Google, I like to talk to grandmothers and aunties and people and go through, I'm not gonna get on YouTube and Google how to do this. It's just not my thing. But I think she's right about the plate. That's the first thing. Yeah, that's even too small too. That might be better. <laughs> Try one more. Okay, that might be the way to go. So they look pretty good, but the ones from the outside that the plate were pushing down are coming apart. So what I should have done was push a plate that covered the whole thing up. Now I need to get back to what I was doing. All right. That little inside is still boiling, but it's still boiling, which is awesome. Okay. Now I am wondering if I should turn the plate upside down. I think I need to turn the plate upside down. Here, have a look at this. Yeah, okay. Now we now we're cooking with gas. All right. Thirty minutes on the boil, turn down, low heat, cook for about an hour. Now, I did burn them on Friday, remember? So I was watching that and I want to see what I've done if I've burnt them again on the bottom. That's the vine leaf and the onion that protects the domatas. But anyway, this is kind of like the process of the whole thing, right? So they're cooled down. They're not that cold, like they're not like, I want you to keep them there for at least an hour. Um, after they've cooked. For me, it's been about 30 minutes, but I just want to get them out and show you um, what they look like. I can't help myself. I have no patience. Okay, let's try this one. All right, let's have a look inside. Okay, let's have a look. Oh my God, they smell amazing. Now, I don't know whether you can see here. You can see how it's a little bit burnt there. Now, this is my second time making them, so I will get better at this, I promise. I'm speaking to myself right now. Now you're just gonna sit them on here. You can see these ones that are really like in nice and tight are held together, those two, but that one's not. So what you wanna do, and I'm talking to myself here, is make sure they're nice and tight and really squished up together so they hold together. These ones are complete blowout. Now I can't wait to eat those. Yum, I'm gonna have them on the plate. Let me get the blowout ones because I'm gonna eat these. It's about six of them that I think they've blown out out of all, all of them. Oh my God, I can't wait to eat these. It's my favorite thing in the world. Now, have a look down in here. You can see, when I rip this off, it's starting to get a little bit burnt there. And that's why it's important to put a protective layer of either potato and vine leaves so it doesn't burn your domatas. Now for me, I am gonna definitely eat this onion because I think it's delicious. And that is it, everybody. That's my version with zero teaching of the domata. Oh my God, this onion's just gonna be delicious. I don't even know if that's a thing. Anyway, see ya. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, this is very addictive. I can't explain the flavor. It's like lemony, right? Yep. Oily. What else? Delicious. Can't stop. You can't stop. We can't stop. I think that's a really cool thing. This is the blow up. But... Hmm? This is the blow up. But... The blow out ones are the best. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. It's, I can't explain it, but it's very addictive. And that onion's just gonna be lush. Yum. Mm. Oh my God. Did the onion? Uh huh. How's the onion? Addictive to the one. I will never buy these again for as long as I live.
Unless somebody's made them and they're like an artisan kind of family thing. Mm. Mm. But normally I buy them in a tin. I like the little bird. Oh, you like the little bird? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm.